My name is Fiona Gibbon. I'm Professor and Head of Speech and Hearing Sciences here at UCC. And we're holding this exhibition, which is called Give Me the Flowing Line, to commemorate um, a very remarkable man called Father O'Flynn. And Father O'Flynn was a parish priest uh, in Cork. And he did many things that made him remarkable, but one of the things that he did was that he helped people who had stammers at a time in Cork when there was no speech and language therapy service available for such people. And he uh, used to help them in the context of a place called The Loft. And this was um, a place where he set up the Cork Shakespearean Company and it was located in a street in Shandon. And it was here that he, people used to come every Sunday and they would uh, uh, learn all about Shakespeare and all about life. And it was here that he helped people with stammers. He gave them confidence to speak in public. He showed them how to be fluent by taking on acting roles and that gave them a lot of self-esteem at a time when perhaps they would have felt uh, very vulnerable and uh, there was a lot of stigma attached to stammering at that time. So we're commemorating the work he did but actually we're also commemorating the huge progress that we've made over the last 50 years. He died exactly 50 years ago so it's, uh, that's why we're holding the exhibition now and he, um, we, we have made so much progress in services that are available in the last 50 years. Really when he was working there were no registered speech and language therapists working in Cork um, and that persisted even 10 years after he died. Um, since then there's been remarkable progress in the services that are available not just for people who stammer but for anybody with a communication or a swallowing difficulty um, nationally and particularly in Cork. Uh, so we're celebrating that as well. And the progress in speech and language therapy services has come really from a number of sources. One is some remarkable people who uh, de have developed the service over the last 20 or 30 years but probably one of the biggest factors has been in 2001 there was a big government report called the Bacon Report and they recommended setting up new courses and uh, one of the courses that was set up is here in UCC. So we now have a fantastic speech and language therapy course here. It's set up in 2003. Our first graduates came out in 2007. And um, so throughout Ireland now, about 100 speech and language therapy graduates um, come each year into the profession. So that report had a huge impact uh, on services in Ireland. So we're celebrating that as well. And um, we have just made a fantastic video about speech and language therapy uh, at UCC. And that's going to be available very soon on YouTube. So if anybody wants to find out more about that, they, there are some brochures that we have and also YouTube videos. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's an excellent course. And um, with small group learning and clinical placements and it was set up um, along the very best guidelines. So we're very proud of that.